Hey guys, Dustin here with Custom Offsets. Today I'm joined by Hunter, who you've seen in a couple videos before. And we got a really special one for you today. We're actually going to be sitting down and raiding some of the vehicles from Jay Leno's garage. So if you guys didn't know, Jay Leno is actually a huge car guy. He's a big car nut. I think it's like 140 or 150 different vehicles. Trucks, cars, bikes, uh, literally everything. So uh, the guys actually handpicked a couple. We're going to go through and rate them. We're going to try and be as objective as possible, but it's pretty tough because all of his stuff is really, really cool. Before we do that, we'll start with some customoffsets.com. You already know it. Make sure you enter the giveaway for your chance to get free wheels, tires, and suspension shipped to your door. Oh, man. Oh, my God. So we're starting off with classic Chevy truck here. Looks like it was made by Artec Fabs, the green classic Chevy truck. I love this two-tone, first of too. all. Like that light green, uh, our seafoam green, and the white looks super good together. He's got the cleared headlights. So we're on forces? Forces, dude. Okay. I love when guys take a classic old school trucks like this and then slap them on forces. It's super neat to me. It's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I do like that paint. It it's looks like fantastic. A teal and white. It gives me, it definitely gives me 50s vibes, even though I've only, you know, heard about it. Not like I know what it was like. I think it's, what I like most about this truck is that it's, it's as bold as it is simple, if that makes sense. It is, there's not much done to it besides suspension. But the, tires. Yeah, it's like there's not much done, but there's also a lot done and it true. It just works, especially with this body style. It's got that pointed, really swooping hood and yeah. and then the little bits of chrome and then the you know the dash of white on, in the bottom and then again on the roof line there. So honestly, now that you said that, it kind of reminds me of the brand new 2020s. Kind of kind of over a little ooh, bit. Ooh, I saw under hood action here. Ooh, all polished up. There oh, is. Yeah, big oh. old Turbski stuck up under there. Okay. Neat. All right, Hunter. Let's Rate it. Are we doing out of 10? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Ten. Ten and a half. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> I can't, I want to pick it apart, but I can't. I can't knock it for anything. It's on forces, dude. It is on forces, yes. It's pretty cool. I wish you would be more excited about that. Yeah, because it's on American forces. Stop it. You ready for number two? Yeah. Let's do it. What is this? Air-cooled engine in the back. Is this a... Uh... It's a little van looking thing. America's most radical pickup it's called. It's a Chevy, I know that. Oh, weird. I like how every time you see Jay Leno, he's wearing blue jeans and a denim shirt. He's literally every wearing time. the same thing. <laughs> what the heck is the door thing on the side? You do see that? It's got like, that's a whole tailgate on the side of the bed. <laughs> oh my God. Oh so to access God. the engine, you drop the tailgate and then there's, there's turn dials to like open this cover up in the bed and then the whole panel picks up no and that's way. where the engine is located over the rear axle 80 horsepower 128 foot pounds of torque man why is this guy all of this guy's cars are so neat every one of them it's got to drive so weird too because again all of the drivetrain is behind you there's yeah. nothing up front let's rate it three two one seven whoa <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's cool. I think it's super unique. It's a really neat piece of automotive history. I think it's really ugly. <laughs> I think so too. I mean, I, I, it, I, I don't know. Maybe that's my millennial coming out. I'm not really sure. It, it was super cool back in the day. It still is really unique. And just because I don't think it's like visually appealing doesn't make it any less neat. Ooh. Up next is a 1977 Ford Bronco. So it looks like this is a guy from ABC7, and this is his completely stock, wow. desirable 77 Bronco. So this isn't actually Jay Leno's, but this belongs to a friend of his, which is super cool. This Bronco is a time capsule. It is. Everything about this thing is, is pristine, and it takes you back to a much simpler time. Even down to the, like the steering wheel, where just, you, know, you saw it's got the holes in the... Yeah. The turnstiles, and it just looks super neat. And it has the old Ford logo. It's not the updated one still. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, like this is history. For real. It's got the, the outside hood latch. You said it's got the inline six in it, which was pretty cool. Again, you have to remember in the 70s, an inline six was a big engine, you know? True. Yeah. So you just said okay. there that the 77 was considered the best year of the Bronco because it was the first year that they finally got all the bits and pieces right, which makes it all that much more desirable. Yeah. It's super retro feeling. Just like that that last pickup mm -hmm. thing that we looked at. Yeah. The red and white always um, plays really, really well together. All right, let's, let's rate this one. All right. Three, two, one. Eight. Eight. 
Get what out is of going my on? head. <laughs> Jesus, Hunter. <laughs> it's cool. I love that it's original. I love what he's got going on. I love that it has all the bits and, and pieces that make it super desirable. And being a 77, obviously, is even better yet. I just want to see it on some thick old 2414s. That's what I want. I mean, I love everything about it. The only reason I rated it an eight is because I'm not a huge fan of the old Broncos. I'd rather have like a 80s, 90s. Millennials. <laughs> He's not even a millennial. I know. Yeah. That. All okay. right, here we go. Up next is a 1953 Ford F100. And this thing, complete polar opposite of the last one we looked at. We just looked at a completely stock 77 Bronco. And now we're looking at a 53 F100 Resto mod. So this is owned by a Noah Alexander. I love this color. It's that like deep green with the like the bronze copper oh kind of accents. Oh my God. Mm, this got me feeling some type of way. I hope you know that this is the truck that I want to build. Same year, same body really? style, a 53? same everything. I've wanted to build one of these since I I don't even know, but definitely be a Sunday driver though if I ever had one. Yeah, it's not like you're gonna daily this thing no. through Wisconsin winters, right? Honestly, seeing these old vehicles really makes me want to like travel, just like time travel, go mm. back and see them like on the road all mm. over the place instead of like in a museum. Look how good that thing looks rolling down the road. Oh just God. Big nose hanging out in the front there. I'm pretty sure I know how this one is gonna go, but we're gonna do it anyway. Are you ready to rate this one? Yeah. All right. Ready, three, two, one. 10. Ten. I, yeah, I mean, there's no doubt in my mind. The wheel choice looks phenomenal. The color match looks phenomenal. The bronze in the grill looks really good. The headlights pair perfectly. The the hard piping in the um, in the engine bay, the long grain, everything about this truck is fantastic. Honestly, I didn't know how I felt about that bronze and green at first, mm -hmm. but seeing how that paint reacts in the sun, that makes me love it. Yeah, all the shimmer and yeah. you know, boy it's does insane. it look good. Up next is a 1942 Dodge Power Wagon Resto Mod. Resto Mods always make me really excited because it's like, let's take all the... Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to be speechless, but I was like, yeah, okay, it's a Power Wagon, whatever. And then I realized it's a six by six and that changes okay. a few things. Okay. Man, the Power Wagon was so neat because it really shaped the future for like the high performance mm -hmm. um, pickup trucks. You know, before that, pickups were just kind of trucks and they yeah. just existed. And then Dodge, like, Dodge was like, no, let's give them more power than they need with more suspension travel than, than they need. And I mean, 50, 60, 70 years later now, holy cow, I feel old. 70 years later, we have the TRX. Like yeah. it traces back to this. This is what exactly. started it, you know. It's crazy that they had that idea in the 40s. Yeah. I am ready to rate it if you are. Three, two, one. Nine. Seven and a half. You what? Seven and a half. Why? I don't know. I mean, like it's cool and everything and even seeing one today, like seeing one coming at you, you'd be like, wow. I don't know, it's just a truck. Yeah, it's super cool, I love it. Um, it's a nine for me, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know why, it's just cool, but it's not like, it's not like the F100 we just looked at. You know? Yeah, true, after seeing that, I mean, really nothing compares We're to We're it. tainted, I guess, so. that's just the way it goes. Last but not least is a 1950s Mercedes-Benz race car transporter. Oh God. Oh, baby. <laughs> Say less. No way. Look how neat this thing is, complete with the Mercedes-Benz race car on the back. I love that the Benz logo hasn't changed. Yeah, Mercedes-Benz is like, new logo, nah. not doing it, fam. They've always been kind of slept on in the truck game, mm -hmm. you know? And it's probably because they're imported, they're German, they're not not—they're not a common thought. And it's, it is really kind of a bummer because they did some really cool stuff over the years yeah. like this. It's like a cab over style design. You sit, look how far in front of the front. I was gonna really say, look sit. how far back that front axle is. That's gotta feel weird when you're driving. But they did that on purpose, right? Because yeah, then you put the, you put the car right over yeah. all four tires, which is super unique. I'll take two. I don't know where I'll find two, but I'll take two of them. I'll take one with the car. All right. Let's rate this one. And you have to rate it with the car on the back. Okay, it's fine. Three, two, one. Ten, ten and a half. <laughs> ten and a half. I don't know if I can do that, but I didn't think I could like anything more than that F100 and then I saw this. 
true. It's kind of a mismatch up to me, but. It's quirky and it's unique mm -hmm. and it's beautiful and it's functional and that's why I like it. This screams Jay Leno right here. For real. Well, there's another rating YouTube trucks. This is Jay Leno edition, actually. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks to Hunter, as always, for joining us. If you have an idea for the next rating slash reacting video, let us know down in the comments below. We love uh, hearing your feedback. And remember, like, share, subscribe to the channel so we can keep making videos like this. Peace.